right guys, so we've got the tractor loaded up here. We're about to go back to the driveway job that I started a few weekends ago. We're gonna go finish that up. We've actually got the stone delivered this afternoon and it just got delivered there a little bit ago. So I got the tractor loaded up. I actually just finished mowing the lawn with it. My lawn was like a foot high because I've been so busy lately. I haven't been able to mow it in like two weeks. So the uh, tractor already did some work today. That's why the tires are muddy. But uh, I just got the mower deck taken off and the loader back on it so we could head up to this job. Uh, we ended up going with five ton of Crusher Run minus ones. Hoping it's gonna be enough. The guy was really worried about having some extra material laying there at the end. He really didn't want me to go overboard with it because he's really got nowhere to put it there. So if we ended up having extra material, basically we'd have to get hauled away to his other house or his other property. So um, he said, if anything, just underquote it. And he says, if he needs some more next year, he can call me back and we'll put another one or two ton down, uh, depending on how low we end up being. He actually said he wanted the driveway below the grass line anyway. So I'm thinking five ton will be about perfect. So once we get up there and start spreading it, we'll know. But uh, I think he's gonna be happy with them when we get done here today. So let's go ahead and get the truck here and I will show you guys a little bit more what I'm talking about when we get up there. All right guys, well here we are back at the driveway job. You can see here we've got five ton of Crusher Run, crushed limestone. This is all minus ones. So the biggest rock in here should be about one inch and everything's smaller than that. This stuff really holds together nice and tightly. It's got a lot of that rock dust and a lot of that finer stuff in it. And that's what makes this stuff pack like concrete. Works really good for driveways. Um, this is usually my go-to. Hoping it's gonna be enough. I think it's gonna be just enough. So what I had him do is just dump it here on the end of the driveway near the pad, uh, close to the house. That way I can pick it up and back drag it. Um, I like working downhill because this driveway is gonna slope down towards the road. So I always like working towards the house and back dragging my way back towards the road. I find that that's the easiest way to go. Plus, I know that the grade that I did before, this base here, I know that this is nice and level. So the big key is to always keep your tractor on a nice level surface when you're back dragging and grading. So as long as the tractor is on a nice level surface, you're gonna get a nice level grade out of it. So we're gonna be picking up bucket loads here, dropping it and back dragging it, and we'll work our way all the way down to the end here. Now the truck driver did kind of drive into the lawn a little bit with the triaxle. You can see he kind of messed up my edges a little bit here, but I have a good sense of where they're gonna be. Um, so we might just have to fill them in a little bit with topsoil when I get done, we'll have to see. Um, kind of smooshed down the edges a little bit, but I think it's gonna turn out just fine. Now, as far as the um, water line goes, last time we were here, I told you it was real soft because they just installed that water line. It was real soft underneath. I told you guys in my last video that they dug it up and filled it with some crushed limestone to harden it up. Well, I had actually read his text wrong and I thought that's what he did, but come to find out, he was saying they didn't have to do that because it ended up just drying up and hardening on its own. So all that clay they backfilled it with, I think it was just so wet because of all the rain that we've been getting here. It was still just so mushy underneath that that's why it kind of fell the way it felt. So what he did was he just let it sit a couple weeks and now it's hard as a rock. Uh, definitely no squishiness to it at all. So we're definitely fine there. But I just want to clear that up because in my last video, I did tell you guys that they dug it up because I read his text wrong. Um, so we should be all set now to spread this uh, top coat here. Not a very big driveway, shouldn't take us too long. So let's get at it.
All right, guys, well, we've got the driveway all finished up. It's just starting to rain here. It's lucky the rain held out as long as it did, and I was able to get this done. I'll take you guys up this way here. Just finished raking it out. There was just, like I said, a few spots in the corner and whatnot, and kind of like the sides that I wanted to kind of grade out a little bit more. Um, these edges right here, like these spots and stuff, from where they dug this water line, it's all growing. He's gonna throw some seed down, and uh, I told him give it a couple months for that seed to grow, and you won't even tell it was like that. But coming down from this way, you can see how nice and straight it is now. It's nice and level going back. And coming over here, this spot right here was the really high spot when we first started this project. You can see how much more level it is now. You can see it's level with the sidewalk. It was completely humped up over here, and you could see that by the way the ground is. You could tell the ground is still higher than the driveway here. And that had to be that way because if I went any higher with the gravel, we would have been above the sidewalk here. So had to keep it low. But that way we've got a slight decline from the house coming all the way down to the sidewalk and then again down and it just slightly slopes up towards the road right there so turned out really good he's definitely happy with it but uh yeah it turned out pretty good so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's gonna rain pretty soon here it's just starting to rain so i'm gonna get uh gonna get head back home i actually gotta go take a look at another job um this weekend as well so i'm gonna go take a look at that and hopefully you guys will hear about that next weekend um, but he also does want me back here to fix this uh, flower bed right here you can see this wooden border is kind of rotten and broken apart here and if you look at it the whole thing is kind of leaning out you can see how it's all leaning this way so i'm going to come back and i think i'll probably bring my forks or the stump bucket and we'll dig underneath this and kind of pop it up out of the dirt um he says he's got another piece here that we can cut and put in there so i told him you bring the piece i'll bring a saw saw or my circular saw and i said we'll cut it and we will kind of replace it probably somewhere around here and then we'll dig it out and I'll restake it in for him. So that'll look nice because uh, it just kind of looks like crap and he can't really get his push mower down here the way it is. It's really leaning into the lawn pretty hard. So we'll get that fixed up, but I told him let's give it some time, let this driveway harden up. And then you guys will be able to see the driveway once again when all this grass kind of grows in a little bit and when things pack up and harden up. So, um, but until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe as always. We'll see you guys in the next one.